In this video, we're going to show you how to pull in data from a spreadsheet. You can store the spreadsheet in one central location under your files and have it accessed by any workflow and even other users on the account. Some people call this a lookup table or a reference table. For example, let's say I have a list of attorneys and I want to load my spreadsheet of attorneys to the system here. I want to store their names, email addresses, bar numbers, addresses, and a bunch of other information inside of this spreadsheet. And this data could change from time to time when I remove attorneys or add attorneys to the list. Then I want to be able to simply select their first and last names from a dropdown in my workflow and have that data populate into all of my documents. So I'll give you a simple example of this. Here, as you can see, we loaded our attorney list. And at the very bottom, we have a preview of the data that exists inside of that spreadsheet. Now, I have a few options here, which I'll go over quickly. We can designate whether or not this spreadsheet has private data, which will determine whether it is accessible to all members of the public or just members who I designate this spreadsheet for. For example, you might have a list of courts or states and that would be very public. You would want anyone to be able to access that information, whereas an internal list of attorneys is probably something you wouldn't want everyone to have access to. Spreadsheet also needs to have a unique column, a column that has all unique data. It should have a display column. So the display column is what's going to show up as you start searching in your dropdown. In this case, I only want my first and last names to appear. So I'll remove the third one that's listed here by default, or I could add other ones. And then the searchable column is all of the columns that it's going to search from when you're using the dropdown. So you might still want to allow people to search by email, even though those aren't actually going to be displayed on the screen. So I'll go ahead and save this. So I'll go to my workflow, which is just a basic letter workflow, and I'll create a first page. I can add as many questions to this as I want, but I'm just going to go show you the CSV data source question. I'll start by adding a question name, which in this case will be, who is the attorney? I'll give it the variable name attorney name, and I will allow it to source that data from the attorney list that we have that we just loaded. Now, the next thing I want to do is set it up inside of my document. So I'll go over to my engagement letter document and I know I want to insert the law firm information right here. So I will just go ahead and start adding some simple variables. I know that I want my attorney's name to be here along with some other data. The way that this is written inside of the simple variables is the document variable name that you gave it. So attorney name, which is the variable name that I gave to that CSV question. And then that will be followed by the column name in the spreadsheet. So in this case, I'll start by adding the first name, the last name. I can add in the state bar number and add in as many variables as I want here that I want populated. So now when I load this over to my output documents and run this workflow, all of that information is going to be filled in. So now I'll go ahead and click run. And then I can start entering the information for my attorney, John Smith, or I could enter any other attorney's name and that information would be populated. As I make changes to that spreadsheet, additional attorneys may appear or not appear on this list as well.